and it's going to be a multiplication factor so that we get a scaled injector output uh, against our table. So whatever the value is here and whatever the value is in our trim table here in our boost comp table, it's going to be a multiplying effect to our injector pulse width. So for example, right now we're at 6.92, 6.95 milliseconds. And if we jump into the table, we can see that we have a breakpoint here at 0 psi, we have one at 15 psi, and we have one at 30 psi. Now the way the boost compensation table is going to work is we're going to assume that for every one bar or 14.7 of increase in boost, we're going to need another 100% multiplier in our boost compensation. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to touch any of my vacuum right now. I'm just going to be touching my boost portion. And I'm going to go in here to my uh, 15 PSI breakpoint. I'm going to go ahead and hit S for set. I'm going to click 100. Then I'm going to go and go from 0 to that uh, load point here. I'm going to go from 0 to 15. I'm going to click H. I'm going to have a horizontal linear interpolation line between these data points because uh, at 0 PSI, I'm going to assume that the values in my table are going to be what I want to source. And then as I get up to 15 PSI, I'm going to go ahead and multiply that. And then at 30 PSI, I'm going to have to go ahead and add another 100%. So I'd go and click S for set, click this to make this 200%. So I'm going to add another 100% multiplier. And then I'm going to go between my 15 and 30. I'm going to grab these two data points, hit H. And now I have a linear scale here. So as we move up in boost, it's going to be multiplying it in a linear rate to the increase in boost. Uh, we're going to go back in here. And we're going to see now that because we're at 17.2 PSI, our injector pulse width here is a little bit more than double. We went from around 6.92 to 13.2. So what we're going to find is that uh, we can go ahead, now let's assume that 16.92 gave us the air fuel that we wanted. We can go ahead and then we're going to have to back off these values because we've essentially doubled our injector pulse width. So what this is going to allow me to do is go at my 0 PSI uh, breakpoint here. I can go ahead and cross my whole row I can copy and paste this value, control C. I'm going to go all the way to the top of my map and I'm going to paste that, control V. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to draw a, I'm going to highlight between the top and that zero PSI. I'm going to hit V, do a vertical interpolation. And now we can see that our table here, if we look at it, is 